back to my channel so i hope you're all well today i'm back with another makeup testing video and once again i actually filmed this the day i got it which is crazy because there was a moment where i used to film things like 10 years after i actually got the product but i'm so excited for this video and i'm so happy for so for her new collab i've had all three of the collabs now and i love the first two i love the original so for makeup revolution palette and i love the extra spice palette collection as well including the lipstick so i decided to give the third collab a try and of course the other two i also decided to sit down and do a testing video for you guys and show you if it is worth the hype or not also you're gonna have to excuse this big chair again once again the other chair's upstairs and i ain't bringing it down the spiral staircase so we're just dealing with this bad boy for now i haven't picked up the whole collection but i've picked up most of it pretty much everything i need for a testing video so i got the bigger eyeshadow palette instead of there goes the lipstick. I got the bigger eyeshadow palette instead of the smaller one. So I've got that one to test out today. I've got the lipstick in the darker shade, which I am so excited to try. And then finally, I do have the face duo as well. As you can see, I've done my base makeup, but of course I haven't got anything on my lips or my eyes or no highlighter on. So I can try these three products for you guys. So if you want to know my thoughts on the new Soph X Makeup Revolution collab, then feel free to keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring you up a little bit more. I don't remember how to do a colourful makeup look. So basically my makeup nowadays is very au natural and it used to be very, very colourful, colourful like palettes, everything. And now I just go for like a brown. So I am so excited that she's brought out a colourful palette because that is literally just me in a palette. However, you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm not in tip top shape when it comes to colourful palettes. I'm a bit out of practice, so bear with. However, this is the eyeshadow palette, which is what I'm gonna use first. This is normally the next step in my makeup routine after I've done my eyebrow. The packaging for this is so minimalistic. I think it's really, really nice as well. And I love the whole like, pinky peach color also the one thing that i love about the packaging of these is that it's more of a cardboard palette rather than the other ones which are kind of like plastic which i really like i really like a good cardboard palette you've probably already seen this but in case you haven't this is what the palette looks like it does have a mirror at the top as well which is really really handy as you can see it is such a colorful palette it is me in a palette i feel like i haven't used color for quite a while but I absolutely love this and I love the fact that Makeup Revolution finally have a colourful palette that isn't too colourful but just like the right amount. I just think Soph has done so well with this colour selection. So this is what it looks like. I'm not actually going to swatch the colours because I know Soph did that in her video and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are going to swatch it as well. Normally swatches for me is a funny one as well because you can swatch it on your arm and it can come out very very different on your eyes. So that's why I'm just going to see how it performs on the eyes rather than going through the swatches. So like any other eyeshadow testing video I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base. This is in the shade Rumor 0. I absolutely love this for when I'm using more of a colourful eyeshadow because this base really makes your eyeshadow pop which is great obviously because we're using a very colourful palette here with very poppy colours so we want to make sure that we get as much payoff from these colours as possible which is why I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base like I would for any other video. As you can see I've just got it gone in with my eyeshadow base so I'm going to take the palette now. Also I've changed the way I do my eyebrows again I know I just I feel like I'm going back to this way of doing my eyebrows it just it's it, it, I feel more me okay we're gonna completely wing this look to put it quite bluntly because I don't really know what I want to do I'm thinking like a pinky pinky purpley moment because there is like a lot of nice like pink and purple shades and I really want to try this lilac at the top because I'm very picky when it comes to lilacs and how lilacs perform on the eyes so I'm quite intrigued to see what that's like. First I'm going to go in with probably the darkest purple so I'm going to take this purple here this is the shade Papa 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 Pap Pap Papa <laughs> I give up. I think I'm going to take this brush. So this is my Colourpop E9 brush, which I absolutely love for packing on colour. So I'm going to take this purple. Took a little bit to like build up the pigment, but 
it's still a really nice shade. Yeah. If, I feel like if you keep dabbing in and you can work it, then the colour payoff does start coming through. I just zoomed in so you can see it a little bit better, but I actually really, really like that shade. I have gone in like quite a few times just to build up the pigment a little bit more. But it's not a bad shade. Like I actually do really like it and the colour is stunning as well. By the way, please excuse the fact that at the moment it's going to look quite messy but when we start blending things together it won't look as bad as this, I promise. Next I'm going to take one of my Makeup Addiction brushes. You can also save some money on Makeup Addiction brushes in using my discount code in the description bar below. By the way, I bought these brushes with my own money and then I joined their affiliate program because I actually enjoyed these brushes. Um, so anyway, just a cheeky plug. I'm using the, the tapered crease brush I actually really enjoy the brushes. They're actually really, really fluffy and nice to use. I'm gonna go in with this pink shade here. This is like a really bright pink shade. This is the shade Lover. I've noticed that this palette has quite a few Taylor Swift references as well. Do you know what? Those two together are blending so nicely. You know, it's all well and good to have really nice shades, but if they don't blend together, then it's just we're not gonna work. Next up, I'm gonna take this purple shade up here, which is the one that I've been wanting to try for so long. This is the shade Lockdown. <laughs> I mean, quite fitting. This is the Morphe M433 brush. Not a massive fan of Morphe brushes. I don't feel like they last that well. A few people have said exactly the same, to be fair, which makes me feel a lot better about my life. Yes. Do you know what? That's quite a nice lilac, just to like, blend everything out so I'm doing quite as you can see I'm doing quite big circular motions because it just like blends it up to the top of my eyebrow really really nicely considering the fact I haven't actually done a colorful makeup look in so long I'm so proud of myself I'm just gonna go back in with those three colors now just to make sure that they're all nice and blended together and then I will be right back as you can see I've just blended those three together and now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease using my P. Louise base again so I'm gonna take my trusty P. Louise base in the same shade it's been so long since I last did a cut crease as well so please bear with Really, if I thought, I would have actually have taken the excess away where I was supposed to cut my crease with a cotton bud. But like I said, it's been so long since I last done a cut crease, so apparently I've forgotten how to do one. This is the best cut crease we're gonna get, because <laughs> it has been like half a year since last time I did a cut crease, so I'm a bit out of practice. I'm gonna take one of the Makeup Addiction flat brushes. This is the smudge brush, and I'm just gonna dip it into this yellow shade here. This is the shade Sunshine. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm really fussy with yellows, but that is really nice. It does take like a little bit to get that pigment up, but you pretty much do with every yellow. So basically, if I'd have done that cut crease the way I was supposed to, I feel like that yellow would have popped a lot more because obviously it wouldn't have blended in with the purple shade. So if I'd have taken off the excess shadow before I did my cut crease, However, that is a really nice yellow shade. Like, I'm really liking how this look is turning out and how everything is blended together. Next, I'm gonna take that same brush that we used that dark purple on and I'm gonna take that dark purple again and I'm just gonna blend out my outer corners. Also, if I'd have thought, I would have done this like before I put the yellow shade on, but it's been a while, guys. I'm also just gonna do my lower lash line, so I'm gonna take this medium shadow brush and take that same dark purple shade and put this on my lower lash. And then I'm just gonna take the same pink and lilac shade and I'm just gonna blend those two out very lightly just to make sure that everything's joined up. To complete the eye look, I'm just going to take a really small brush. This is the Spectrum A16 brush. And I really want to try this blue shade. I think it might be too dark for my inner corner, but like, I don't care. I'm just going to do it anyway. Because it just looks like such a nice, like, turquoise shimmer. So I feel like that's taken a little bit to build up to get to the pigment that I wanted. But it actually works really nice in my inner corner. Like, look how, like, bright my inner corner is now. And this is the final eye look. So now I'm gonna test out the rest of the collection, which includes the face duo and the lipstick as well. Funnily enough, the face duo comes in a duo. It comes in the same packaging as the eyeshadow palette, so in like a little box. This looks 
bit pinkier than the other one. This is in the shade Sugar Frosting. So this is a highlighter palette. As you can see, I have taken the lighter shade palette. It does actually come in three colours, but this is what it looks like. It is... Oh my god, it's so stunning. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I religiously use my Morphe highlighter palette and have done for like 10 years. However, I can't find it and I don't know where it's gone. So I'm just going to take this Spectrum CO6 brush and I'm just going to dip into the highlighter. I'm probably going to take this on my cheeks and then this one on like my nose and stuff just so you can see what both highlighters look like. I don't normally wear highlighters, so this is kind of new for me. Ooh, that is nice. Look at that. I feel like if I had my other brush, it would just be so much better. So please excuse that. Next, I'm going to take this one here. This is kind of like the darker highlighter. Oh, yes. My nose is glowing. Just taking it down here as well. I'm really just going to pop it up here above my brow bone and then maybe a bit like on my brow bone. That is really, really good. I'm pretty sure this one was £8, which is actually a little bit pricier than the other one because if you remember, she did her original one, which was £8 for like six highlighters. So this is a little bit more pricey. However, I feel like this one is a little bit more travel friendly. As you can see, it's absolutely tiny, which is so cute. And the highlighters are really nice. I'm actually pretty stressed because I need to get ready to go to the gym in 15 minutes and take all this off which is going to be so sad next up i'm going to take the lipstick duo i got this one in the shade toffee drizzle but they do also have another shade which is a little bit lighter i'm pretty sure this is a lip balm duo yeah this comes with a lip liner and a lip balm which to me was like oh okay so this is the lip liner and then this is the lipstick i'm actually gonna line my lips first before i put the lipstick on i've been loving lip liners at the moment as well by the way Ooh, that is actually really pigmented. I feel like soap always comes out with like the best lip colors and highlighters and eyeshadow palettes to be fair. So now that I've lined my lip, I'm gonna go in with the lip balm. I absolutely love the packaging of this by the way. It's like rose gold to die for. Oh man, this glides on like a dream. Oh, it smells so good as well. This is the lip liner and the lip balm together. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this colour combo. Like I said, the lipstick smells really nice and it feels really comfortable on my lips. I think the combo with the lip liner is just so nice. Like, I love a good dark lip. I don't know if it's because I've got dark hair and it just kind of goes with the vibe, but I honestly love this. I think this might be my favourite in the collection, is the lipstick. I feel like I'm going to wear this all the time. Like I really, really love these two together. It really works. So that was everything that I picked up from the Soph X Makeup Revolution collab. I absolutely love how this look turned out. I love the eyeshadow palette and how pigmented it is, and how well it blends together as well. One thing that I was thinking of is honestly like well done to Soph for putting another collab together. Like it's very rare that you have someone put three collabs together that are like as amazing as each other but also it's worth giving a shout out to Makeup Revolution slash Revolution Beauty because like those guys have their palettes used to be very unpigmented to having palettes that have the pigment like that which is absolutely insane obviously Revolution Beauty have always been known for like affordable highlighters so of course I love the highlighter as well and the glow was everything that I expected it to be but I also love the lips and I love the lip combo and the lip colour. Makeup Revolution have really stepped up their lipstick as well. A massive well done to Soph as well as Revolution Beauty for this amazing collab. Like I honestly love everything that I've tried and it was definitely worth the money. So I really hope that you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful. If you did enjoy this video then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already make sure to also tap that bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video a little bit like this one. Once again thank you so incredibly much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next video very very soon. Bye!